to the 10th anniversary of the Sonoma Tokai Sister City. It's a big, big day for us, for many of us. Uh, my name is Tom Blackwood. I am the general manager of this beautiful winery. I'm also the treasurer of the Sonoma Sister City Committee. And uh, I just want to welcome you all today. What a showing. What a crowd. So welcome, everybody. Yeah, this is so scary. Well, as you know, we're here to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this beautiful relationship we, we've had with Sonoma and Tokai. Um, it, it all started right here at Buena Vista, and so that's where we kind of continue to have our events here. And obviously, you guys know a little bit about our history and, and our founder, right? You've heard of him, Augustine? Yeah, anybody? Anybody not heard of him? Okay, okay. I know not this crowd. But, um, um, you know, celebration of our rich Hungarian history, it's just so appropriate for us to be a part of this uh, wonderful organization and a great group of volunteers um, that are all going to speak today, but, or, you know, some of them will speak. But really, just want to thank all of you for coming today and supporting us on our birthday. Yeah. So, uh, again, thank you. And with that, I'm going to introduce and pass on to George Weber. How pleasant. I do enjoy talking to humans. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I stand before you today as George Weber. But ten years ago, I was Count Augustin Honesty, a curious and true circumstance. My unlikely and far-fetched notion to make a living from historical tourism had finally worked. After I met John Charles Boisse on First Street East, I was hired to portray the Count and create a living history program at here at Buena Vista Winery. Soon thereafter, a trade and tourism mission from Tokai, Hungary, visited Buena Vista, including Dr. Sandor Fosikis, Rural Development Minister, Cabinet Member of the Hungarian Government, who was here, and Jean Charles Boisse as well. The conversation was focused on how wine from Tokai, the glorious Furmint, could be introduced to America. I mean, the superior bottles of Furmint brought from Tokai were tasted, as well as Buena Vista Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Towards the end of our meeting, I found myself bolting out of my chair, <laughs> overcome with visions of wine diplomacy and Furmint. <laughs> I raised my glass to the entire table and boomed out. Sonoma and Tokai should become sister cities! And so, we have now arrived here, 10 years later, in 2022. It has been 10 years since we began this marvelous exercise in citizen-to-citizen -citizen diplomacy. We have done real things that help both people in Tokai and Sonoma and we have made lifelong friends. When I came up with this idea, I didn't know if it would work. After all, for this to happen, we needed real Hungarians. <laughs> I was a fake Hungarian. <laughs> Just a pretend Hungarian. I didn't know if there were Hungarians in Sonoma, but to my great joy, I soon found out that Hungarians are everywhere! <laughs> I am serious. You Hungarians are everywhere. I met Sylvia, and the stars started to align. And then, I met Cecily and Ebolia, and Victor, and Joan, and a very special person, Ava Voisin, Honorary Consul General of Hungary in San Francisco. Yes. She's hiding. There she is. <laughs> oh, nice. Cheers. And she is the nicest person on earth, and a great attorney, too. <laughs> 
It was August 31st, 2012, when the mayor of Tokai, Janos Meyer, and Mayor Joe Sanders, Joanne Sanders of Sonoma, signed the joining of Sonoma and Tokai as sister cities in the Champaign Courtyard here at Buena Vista, right up there. The day before was the Count's 200th birthday. Thanks to all of you for coming tonight. It has been a marvelous 10 years. Thank you. Ava as our um, Consul General to Hungary uh, for the Bay Area, Honorary Consul General. Um, and then here we have the Mayor of Sonoma, um, who I will bring up a little later. Um, and then we also have um, some Sister City. Um, let's see, Diana Short is the President of Sonoma Sister Cities Association, wherever you are. Diana, there she is. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and that, if any of the board members, if you could raise your hand, I would appreciate it. Um, for Sister Cities. I'm sure there's some yeah. other board members. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. So, um, in honor of our 10th anniversary, the mayor of, well, the past mayor of Tokai, and now who is the uh, Vice Mayor of Tokai has written a lovely letter, which I would like to read. So it says, um, Greetings from Tokai. Um, it has been 10 years since Sonoma Town, the center of the world's most famous Sonoma wine region, has become the sister city of Tokai Town, the capital of the Hungarian flagship, Tokai Wine Region. I signed the contract with my colleague, Joanne Sanders, on a beautiful August day here in Sonoma. John Charles Boisset, the Buena Vista Winery's owner, and George Weber, the owner of the idea, who, emb who embodies Kenny <coughs> have taken great part in the process. George has been strengthening the origin and the winery's market leadership with his fantastic ir irradiation, no matter what he, no matter that he retired. He will always, well, you know, the English, <laughs> I, I have to, uh, but he's great. He's, he's a wonderful man. He will always be remembered as the Immaculate Count. Also, special thanks to Tom Lockwood, the main wine person in the connection. This is very lucky that on both sides, there is a Sonoma Tokai Association. In Sonoma, Sylvia Tove and John Tove are the presidents whose commitment about Tokai is unquestionable. In Tokai, Otilia Maya and Haino Kapracha are leading the association. These four ladies are the guarantee for the working connection. As we plan, wine and grapes play the leading role in our relationship. It is a great pleasure for us to be able to send and receive wine interns each year who are working some months in the vineyards of Sonoma and Tokai. Thanks to Buena Vista Winery and Heat Solo Winery in Tokai, uh, we have a lot to study in the fields of wine marketing and wine productions in Sonoma, but we believe Tokai also has something to show to you. Your mentality also had a huge impression on us. The smooth way you are handling problems has overwhelmed us. The development of the USA within only a few centuries is also astonishing and unique in the world. While in California you say, don't worry, in Europe, tension is vibrating. You must know, dear friends, that when we are in Sonoma, we store your attitude in our minds and live on it for weeks in Hungary. We had got to know the infrastructure, educational, health, law, and police systems, which we find more effective and successful than ours. When we meet, the best points are the gatherings and spending time with you, friends. The basis of real, long, and successful connection is human <coughs> friendship, which connection was temporarily paused by COVID. We feel that our 10-year-old friendship is fruitful 
and it must be continued also with, with recruiting more young people. By the, way, uh, by the way, the word young reminds me something important. Happy birthday to Count Agus Nogodosti on your 210th birthday. <laughs> thank, thank you for being the link in our friendship. God bless Sonoma and the people in Sonoma. Janusz Maja, former, former mayor of the right. So now um, I would like to introduce the mayor of Sonoma, the current mayor of Sonoma. Um, mayor Jack Ding was not here when we originally formed the um, our sister city relationship. The mayor then, as George had mentioned, with Joanne Sanders. So, Jack. Thank you. Oh, all right. Thank you, so much. Thank you everyone. It's a beautiful day to be here. I'm so happy to see everyone. It's a time is really in a frying. And uh, I think 11 years ago, it, it was the first time for me to know the name of the Tokai Hungary. Because at that time, I was serving the board member in the Sister City Association. I still remember. Uh, George Weber and uh, with a costume and made the first presentation on another board. I still remember that feels like uh, just a couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so then I'm in the city of the Sonoma is a historic city. And we are very appreciative. We have a great founder and General Vallejo, and also his best friend, the owner of this the, the Buena Vista, Augustone Kirosfi. Both of them and other the pioneers built up out of the Sonoma. And so the, we are very much appreciate this. And also, right now, we are not only uh, relying on our history every day, we are creating new chapters for our the people near and the far, for our the friendship, cooperation, prosperity mutually. So that's the reason I came in here. I represent our city council and the staff and 11,000 residents of Sonoma issued proclamation, City of Sonoma. City of Sonoma proclamation, honoring Jean Charles Bosse and Buena Vista for the sponsoring the Sonoma Tokai Sister Cities Committee. On its 10th anniversary, August 25th, 2022. Whereas in 2011, Jean Charles Bosset purchased a historic Vista winery in Sonoma and dedicated <coughs> himself and the Vista staff and member to bring back the life, the famous winery by the Hungarian count account, Agustin Kedraspi in 1857, whereas in November of 2011, a trade and a tourism mission from the Tokai Hungary visited the Buena Vista, visited a group including winery owners and marketing experts from Tokai, as well as Dr. Sandra Felis Kass, rural development minister, he is cabinet and a member of Hungarian government. Whereas a decision was made during the, these the meetings to attempt to create a sister city <coughs> relationship between the Sonoma and the Toka. Whereas Jean Charles Bosset and the Buena Vista, manager, general manager Tom Blackwood have hired these interns and students to the work at the Buena Vista during the busy harvest time since 2013, thus boosting the careers of the many the young people in the wine industry from the Sonoma and the Toka. Whereas it has now been 10 years from the funding of Sonoma and the Toka City City Committee relationship. Now, therefore, be it resolved by Sonoma Mayor Jack Dean 
Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I would like to give it back to the sister city or and a Tom, Tom Blackwood. Coming. Yeah, we have a Continuing on to, you know, the, the mayors are, are still involved, even 10 years later, so that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so just a little bit about our major programs. Uh, we have had various activities through the years, both cultural and educational, but I think the one that everyone agrees is sort of the most successful has been our um, internship exchange program. And um, we do have um, two interns. Well, we only have one intern who's here at this point, um, but we have another one um, coming this year. Um, so the, pro the program is basically um, one year we send an intern from Sonoma area to work in Philpi, and the other year we have someone from Philpi come to um, Sonoma. Um, it's really, really kind of a simple process. You know, we, uh, in Philpi, counterparts uh, come up with several names, um, we review it, do interviews, and then from Tokai, they actually come through an organization called CAEP, which is Communicating for Agriculture Exchange Program. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> which, I, which I can never, I can never remember. So Lori Holmgren represents CAEP, and she actually, I want to thank you, Lori, because you really have always been a help um, with all my questions. <laughs> whatever, to uh, deal with getting the interns over here from Philby. Uh, in the other direction, uh, we have a relationship with SRJC to help us um, locate interns, and then um, Sandy Chumba, our member, is somewhere. Um, there over there. Um, he, there you are. Um, so he takes the lead in um, dealing with that. Um, we've had 11 interns total. Um, and I think it really has been a, a real experience for them that they can take away really for the rest of their lives. You know, it's, it's, it's just that kind of thing. Um, so I, wanted, I did want to introduce our newest intern this year, uh, who is King Dot Gala. City Committee, and it reads, presented to the Sonoma Sister Cities Association by the Meadows of Napa Valley 
on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the Sonoma Tokai Sister City Organization. With best wishes and continued success. Thank you. So now let me introduce you to uh, my co-chair, Joan Toth. No, uh, no relation, uh, but Toth is a pretty common Hungarian name, so Joan. Hi everybody, thank you so much for coming. We are so thrilled to have you here celebrating this. Uh, I moved to Sonoma in 2013, and I, met, I was at the farmer's market, and uh, my husband came up to me, and he said, well, I met this guy, and he said, your wife is Hungarian? <laughs> <laughs> and it was George recruiting real Hungarians. <laughs> so, thank you, George. This is thank you. Fun. Thank you. Well, I love it. It's been a great experience, and uh, turns out my father was born 45 minutes north of Tokai. How's that? Oh, wow. Wow. So, uh, I'm going to briefly tell you what we have planned for next year. It is going to be a very busy year. We are going to have our first fundraiser in March, in first live one in three years. And that is our major source of funding so that we can send interns uh, to Tokai and Tokai can send interns to us. So this is really important. So please stay tuned. We'll have a date for you really shortly. And the food is always great and the wine is always great and we have a lot of fun. Uh, secondly, um, we are sending a delegation to Tokai in June oh. and we are about Maybe. three years overdue for this. But uh, I will be going, I'm sure Sylvia will be going, and, and hopefully some of you might be able to join us. Uh, they really roll out the red carpet, and Tokai is a wonderful, wonderful place to go. Uh, we have a visit of high school students from Tokai coming back to Sonoma in June with their teacher, Otelia um, Mayor. Uh, who uh, has been here a number of times, and Otelia loves to work for her uh, students uh, to Sonoma. And um, so we have got a very, very busy year planned. We hope that you'll join us. Please, if you want to get involved, we'd love to have you involved. We have little jobs, big jobs, medium-sized jobs, something for everybody. Uh, and finally, I do want to mention something that, that Sonoma Sister Cities in general has been highly involved in uh, this year, and that is fundraising for our sister city, Kadi Ukraine. And uh, so far, we've raised over $90,000 for Kadi Ukraine, and it is going to wonderful, wonderful uh, work to keep people of Kaniv safe and they have uh, housed a tremendous number of refugees from within Ukraine and they've spent a lot of money to house and feed those refugees. Uh, sadly, they're building bomb shelters uh, with the money uh, but uh, and buying bulletproof vests. But uh, we know that the money is going to a great place. And we had uh, our counterpart from uh, Ukraine here a few weeks ago. Uh, he gave a talk at the, uh, at the museum. And he talked about how grateful they are about uh, the money that's been given. So Sonoma has been extremely, extremely generous. So uh, now I am, we're wrapping up the program very shortly, but uh, we have one more important guest to say hello, and that is uh, our very dear friend, Ava Boyson. I will be very brief. Uh, first of all, I want you to raise your glass, and let's congratulate the Sister City. Congratulations on your 10 years. Having yeah. such, such having made such a difference for these interns because they really come yeah. back like Bamsa and they have learned a lot. So this is really a career changing opportunity. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, Secondly, I have I have also Tom Yotidev <laughs> and Sylvia. I have uh, designed this for you, Hungarian Tulip Sari, and it says 
on the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the Sister City Association, its recognition and appreciation as founders and continued sponsors of their great effort to develop and nurture personal, cultural, and business ties between these two legendary wine regions and promoting viticulture through their internship exchange program, helping to transmit best practices to the next generation of vintners and wine professionals. So this is for you. So we are going to start Hungarian flour, and then I put them into a bag like this, and I distributed them to various Hungarian groups, you know, cultural oh. groups, etc. And so, with that bread, with that flour, was this bread made. Oh. And in, in, in return, I bought some wheat from California and I sent it to Hungary. Mm -hmm. So, this is the picture of it that went to Hungary. Oh. But the idea behind this was the, the Ten years ago, we started as a charity uh, program, and uh, all the Hungarian farmers joined some some week together. They made it into flour, and they baked it, and they gave it to charity. And that group now expanded to diaspora to Hungarians in Ukraine, Hungarians in Transylvania, and in the United States. So we are now all joined with the bread. So, uh, I imagine. It was baked by Iboya. 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 Iboya.